Joining me right now, Jim uh, Godaldic. He is a cinematographer, but he's also with GoPro. He's the broadcast and photo marketing manager at GoPro. Yes. And look what you brought us. I did. I brought Omni. This nice. is so cool. I wish I could afford it. How much? 8000 no. 7000 Five. Five? All-inclusive kit. How many GoPros are in there? Six. Hero 4 Blacks. So six Hero 4 Blacks, each with 4K video, right? And you're going to stitch them together into one 360-degree fully immersive action video. Yeah, so all these cameras, basically we have one master camera. These are all gen locked together. So one master camera controls all the other five cameras in this. Um, it doesn't do in-camera stitching, but because of our color AVP software, um, you basically would acquire your spherical images here and then be able to automate the data management and the stitching uh, with the color, our color ABP software. So you just import it to the computer, let the software run, and you got it. Yeah, um, with it, you know, you're still it's still a little bit more post involved in terms of you know what we what we wind up with in effective is an 8K resolution spherical image. Holy cow! So we're talking full 360 by 180. You can't really upload that to Facebook or YouTube yet. You know, you know what? Um, uh, the video we released, uh, Same the Rhinos, uh, was one of the first kind of. A, a was that shot with streaming. this? Yes, it was. Neat. Um, and that was one. That was the 6K. You, it was 6K when you yeah. uploaded it. Yeah, you didn't have to Facebook. dance down. Yeah. So wow. Facebook, Facebook 360 has been doing a great job. That's of, amazing. Uh, kind of pressing their technology. That's amazing for streaming. Uh, you know, GoPro has been struggling a little bit lately, probably because there's a lot of competition in the action camera market. But what's exciting is this new 360 market. Uh, yeah. And you're offering probably one of the lowest price solutions. We were just playing with the Ozo, $60,000. Uh, yeah. uh, the Facebook camera that they showed the free plans for still would cost you thirty dollars to $40,000 to build. Yeah. So something at $5,000 range, that's pretty amazing. Yeah, and that's, I mean, we're talking media, cameras, software license, power solution, yeah. accessories. And, and great imaging from the GoPro. Yes. I mean, that's... I'm, that's kind of our staple has always yeah. been small form factor, yeah. high resolution imaging. You must have fun because you work with the broadcasters uh, d doing this stuff. And it's boy, is that a change? Because for a long time, broadcasters would have never looked at a camera like this and said, we're going to put that on the air. Even though the quality is as good, if not better, uh, uh, than, the, than the, the you know big pedestal cameras they spent $50,000 for. Yeah. But they just, they're so resistant to something like this. But are they starting to adopt it? Yeah, um, I think VR as a whole, or 360 video as a whole, has been, uh, um, in the past two years, I would say, as we look at how much uh, VR and 360 products are available today at NEB and have, have launched, there's a lot of competition out there. Competition oh, yeah. is good. Yeah. Um, but I, uh, from the GoPro standpoint, um, we're really trying to solve the end-to-end, -end, from capture through to right. distribution. Um, so we've got everything from hardware to software stitching to actually... Um, iOS, Android, and even desktop uh, platform apps available. Is this also shot with the uh, the new camera? Uh, so yeah, this is basically GoPro VR on the Moto Track um, with a VR uh, with the 360 rig on the on the back of it. And what you can do is click and drag experience right now through through YouTube. Um, but yeah, this allows you to see fully immersive capture and then That's use amazing. some of the metadata from our. Um, from our integration with the MotoGP team is you basically have those uh, that little HUD up there that's giving you the data from the bike. That is incredible. And by the way, incredible video quality. A lot of times, uh, you know, I'll be honest, even the Ozo, the quality is not impressed because you just don't have the resolution. But when you are working with an 8K uh, master, you really do. You have the quality there. Oh, yeah, because pretty much every one of these is capable. It's a full 4K of, camera, right? Yeah, it's 4K camera. The optimal modes are just because the our sensor size happens to be a 4x3 sensor. Um, it, it was kind of that perfect de facto solution because when you get more vertical height yeah. for that overlap on stitching, right. uh, our cameras, because they're so small, you can couple them closer together. You want the sensors closer together. Um, in terms of a multi-camera solution Got it. because you have Got to it. have the overlap when you stitch. So there, how much overlap? How many degrees of overlap is there? Um, it, it really depends on degrees of, um, of this particular rig on here. Mm -hmm. But when you're bringing it into AVP, you can do basically what's called a dirty stitch. So your stitch points are already overlapped for you. Um, and you would get like a proxy viewing mode 
um, before you even step into a, into the stitch. Before you even stitch it. Yes. Wow. That's part of the kind of import. That's nice. The, the Omni importer that we've created that's coming out when this ships. Um, so that's taking a lot of those pain points away from you. Wow. And now you're not going to wear this on your ski helmet. <laughs> We've done that already. Have you really? <laughs> we have content at the booth, <laughs> skiing and snowboarding. It's a little bit. How, how much does it weigh? Um, it's not that much. We're, we're just talking a few pounds here yeah. on that. Um, obviously, traditional GoPro cameras, people right. are used to this. This, on is, their this, is rev um, this revolutionized yeah. the action camera because you could wear that on your on your uh, gear, on your head, or it's anywhere. It's kind of only up to your imagination right. where you want I have to. every possible mount, including the really dopey-looking head strap. Where it goes right there, but it's a good perspective. It's a it's, up it's, to your eye it's line. my perspective. Yeah. I like shooting that way, but people really look at you funny when you do that. They do, but then when they see the content, <laughs> they, they love don't question it. it. They love it, and you know, I have the I have the black, and I love it. Um, I'm excited though to see a 360. I'm I'm really all in. I think on the future, especially this would be a great studio camera for us. Oh yeah, for um, the show because you do, you I want to put it. You, you're our audience in the middle of the show, right? Yeah. Now you can't yet stream live from this though, right? We just show, we're showing a live VR demo at our booth right now for broadcasters. What do I need to stitch it though? I mean, you could stitch in real time? Yes. It's Get not, out of it, here! It is, this is not the live VR one, but we have a custom solution You're getting there. live VR. You're getting there. Yes. See, that's what's most interesting to me. Yeah. The Ozo, we shot uh, some stuff. It's uh, four hours per, uh, uh, to stitch four hours per minute of video. Yeah. So that's not quite real time. It yeah. means we can shoot something and five days later it'll be done stitching. Yeah. Um, how fast is this to stitch uh, after the fact? So with the Omni rig, we brought this outside last night and we turned we can turn around a shot, you know, at least a dirty stitch with you know within an hour or two. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that's really great. And I look forward to seeing the live streaming too. Yeah, this come by great. the booth. We're doing it um, at our booths at, at 3:30 every day. At John, we should VR. get we should get an Omni. I think this is. I've been looking <laughs> for the one first of all that we can afford. It's the only one we can afford, really, right? Uh, and uh, and and the quality is excellent. I mean, I, I would say the quality is as good as anything I've seen out there, yeah. including stuff that costs a heck of a lot. Well, the cool thing about it too is you can download the GoPro VR app. That's on that just hit iTunes and Google Play Store today. Oh yeah, and you have Put a that way to, to distribute your content with out. cardboard or yeah, yeah, or the Gear VR. Does it work on the Gear VR? So with GoPro VR app, it's iOS, it's Android, and it's desktop enabled. Okay. So there are ways to... It's not for the headset. It's just so that you can swipe well, around Well, there are ways in some of the headsets that you can pull up URLs oh, okay. into that. So there's ways that they have it through either Rift okay. or Vive. Yeah, because I have a Rift. I want to do this on the Vive and the Rift. Yeah. Uh, we're, and we're, I think our audience probably has at least cardboard, right? Yeah. Mobile, um, still to this day, if you don't have any in HMD, like a Rift or a Vive, right. mobile is still I don't the mind, way. you know, moving the, the phone around and looking up and down. I think yeah. that's great. It's that's a, a great window. Experience. It's a window. It's a window. Into it. into, it's a great experience. Yeah. It works quite well. Wow. How exciting. Well, thank you, Jim, for coming by. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you guys for Jim, having me. Jim Godoldick is a cinematographer himself but also is the cinema broadcast and photo marketing manager at GoPro. Good gig. Yeah, yeah fun that's gig. fun. Yeah. <laughs> are you thinking about things you can do with this now for yourself? Oh, yeah. What, and, what, and, what, do you, what do you want to do with this next? Well, I think this changes the shift on storytelling. It does. Because yeah. the story's all around you now, right? Yeah. That's very different. So cinematographers, directors have to be choreographers now. Yeah. You know, um, I think you have to learn a little bit more about post-production, maybe a little bit more about visual effects. Um, but I think what's happening too is, is rigs like this that we're creating and, and solutions is um, it's inevitable that what's professional today will trickle down to the consumer in a very near future. Oh, yeah. oh, so yeah. we do have, you know, and we uh, did announce that we are um, working on a consumer spherical solution. We haven't said anything more than that, but Nick Woodman, our CEO. Mean even less than this. Could possibly be. Wow. I have a Rico Theta S. I use it all the time. Yeah, $350. It's, awesome, it's great, but awesome. the quality's not great. I would love to see the, qual the kind of quality I'm and getting out of the GoPro. And I think that's in something like this what still sets uh, a Absolutely. GoPro solution apart from a lot of the others, Absolutely. either higher end or even below, yeah. um, is just, you know, the all inclusive end to end and then price to entry is. You don't have to buy the whole kit. If you have a bunch of GoPros lying around, oh, we'll sell the rig only. Oh, too. wait a minute, because I do. We have, we have GoPros everywhere. We spend a, I, I have, I'm completely GoPro-ized. So if you have 
They have to six. match. They have to be matching models. They should be all Hero Four Black editions. Hero Four Black, okay. And what you can do is, if you have a license or you have another stitching solution that you use, yeah. you can just get your cameras. When you buy the rig, you get access to the firmware, and that allows the firmware to talk to the hardware here, and then you're off shooting. Wow. And that's only fifteen hundred dollars. All right, now we're now we're in, getting getting there. Now we're getting there. I'm just going to take a picture of you and me. And the beauty of this is. I used to have to aim my camera. It doesn't matter anymore. I just put it out there. It's so much easier. <laughs> and it's taking a picture of all of you at the same time. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Yeah, nice to meet you, you, Jim. And me. this is really exciting. Yes, great, I can't wait to see product. you guys start using We will. I think we put you right in the middle of the shows. Wouldn't that be awesome. great? Yeah. You weren't we can recording now, around. are you? No. No, I wasn't recording now. Okay, uh, this is capable. So it's, not a, it's not a dummy. How unit. soon? Uh, so pre-orders went live 8 a.m. today. Uh, today. Um, it is shipping this summer. Oh, let me get in line. Yes. Another thing for me to spend money on. <laughs> awesome. How about audio? How do we handle that? So audio, our good friends at Sennheiser have a really cool tetrahedral mic solution. Oh, perfect. And um, that is supposed to be very within so you, the bottom. You put this on top? You could put it on top, or you can put like a little Noga there. arm off to the side. And that way it's good. And when I will it then work with the stitcher, to have the audio attached yeah, to certain so, uh, spatial points? Yeah, through plugins or even through our own software too about getting those streams. So if I up. turn my head, the sound will now come from over here. Yeah, so if you have, you know, kind of ambisonic binaural audio of where wow. not only you want to direct visually, but wow. auditory, that's, that's kind of all up to the filmmaker or content creator Very these cool. days. I'm excited. Me Thanks, too. Jim. Yeah, thank all you. Right, appreciate it.